it. The fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. He finds the fun guy. We find out why he's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. To find out about fun guy, then you could do worse than give this guy a try. He's the fun guy guy. Yeah, and that was only what I saw from the back end. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, stop what you're doing. Pause. Take a breath. Shh, quiet at the back. Let's have a few moments, respectful moments, uh, to consider the fact that we are now in the presence of the darker side of mycology. We're in the presence of something extremely special. This is the daddy. This is the bad daddy. This is the Voldemort. We are in the presence of the most dangerous, arguably the most dangerous poisonous mushroom in the world. It could only be the death cap. How does it feel about this find? Oh hey, Alice Brain here. Listen, let's check it out. Let's find out how he feels about finding these mushrooms on the gyometer. Never, ever found one, and now I've found it. It's I'm such a special day for me. My heart is beating like a jungle drum. It's absolutely banging. Listen to it now. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Honestly, I can't believe what I found. I thought it might just be some kind of yellow ochre brittle gill when I first popped down, and as I just started to get rid of it, got my hands on it, I thought, whoa, hang on. Something else going on here. Whoa, let go. Flinch. Back off. This is special. And then I, I just had to take a moment before I really got stuck in and had a look. Um, this is it. Here we are. Found them. So right now, they're on a mossy banking in a graveyard, a war graveyard in Conway, North Wales. Uh, underneath a big old oak tree, which they commonly grow with. It's lacking a bit of ambience. Turn up the seagulls. Just how excited I am. Ah, oh, seagull sounds. There we are, just to prove to you, give you a little bit of atmosphere of Conway. Beautiful town. Um, so I better talk you through what, what to expect and how to ID this very, very dangerous mushroom. Uh, let's do it with caution. Let's proceed with caution. I've found a few different specimens around the grounds uh, in different conditions and different sizes uh, and stages of growth. So if you go through them, hopefully we'll get a clear idea and a better picture of what we're dealing with, then you know very well what the death cap looks like. Oh, let's do it now. I'm just a little bit further down a mossy bank now, behind, beside some gravestones where I found some lovely other specimens to show you. I just want to point out before we look at them uh, that I really, really need a wee. Like a dog that gets very excited and needs to needs to wee. That's for the stage I'm at now, but I'm willing to carry on um, because you know that's the kind of guy I am. I can soldier on through wee wees to talk about death caps. Let's take a closer look. It's good of him to push on through for us, isn't it? I don't see the need for him to share it with us, though. Put me off my crab stick. So here they are. I found a little youngster who's just popped through. Uh, medium and daddy bear. There we are. I'll go beside them. It is one actually in situation. So let's start with that cap because this is where this is how straight away I knew what had come across because there's just not a lot. I know fungi can look a lot like each other when you're first starting out, but there's not a lot, certainly when you know what you're looking for, that looks like this. Um, but what this demonstrates is just how variable the caps can be. Oh, that reminds me. Where are you going? These olive tones with a dark center are what you're looking for. And there's not a lot of olive cap stuff, you get some. Well, I say that, you do get wax caps and you get uh, brittle gills, but nevertheless, these this yellowy olive, and this really demonstrates it better, more so. Let's have a look. That, oh, it, it doesn't show, that's a real greeny yellow colour here in real life, on the other side of this camera, the screen. A real yellowy olive, whereas this is turning kind of a, uh, a, a browny coloured one version, which is like its younger counterpart here that's just burst through. What's that you wearing? What do you think 
it is. It's my death cap. I made it. Got to get into the swing of things. So the cap uh, will sometimes have veil remnants on there, little white spots, little bits of the universal veil left behind, like you can find on the uh, Amanita mus uh, muscaria. In this case, there are none at all, which is far more common, and it becomes quite shiny and smooth to the touch, okay? There they are. So you've got that smooth cap, yellow-brown, uh, heading out to a paler margin. The margin will not be striate, but I'll tell you what there is, if you can just pick up on it. It's got, it's got ever so slight streaking in it. There, that shows it, doesn't it? Slight streaking. All right, let's go underneath and look at our gills. That one's not so clear. This one is perfect. The gills are crowded. Really crowded gills. They're free, which means they don't go into the stem at all, into the stipe. So free, crowded, white gills. Sometimes turn a bit creamy. May even turn a little bit pinkish as they... Um, start to get really old the specimens there we are heading down the stem let's get a nice one here heading down the stem um, here we go we've got there the uh, veil remnants there we go got this uh, slightly floppy ring it's very very fragile and you won't always find it as you can see on this one that's the uh, ring remnants there that have stuck to the sides there and on this one yellow yeah, still a little bit going on. Well, yeah, so they're all intact. So this one's a perfect uh, example, and you can see it's got uh, striate. It's got the grooves left behind from where it was touching the gills when it was up. The blusher has a similar feature. So very tiny grooves all the way along that ring there. The the stem is smooth. I would like to point out, if you can see, it does have a, a, a there there. You can see it just have a little bit of a snakeskin feature on it there. Look. Not fluffy, it's not actually physical to the touch, just more of a visual thing that you can see. Heading out to that bulbous bottom end there that sits in, key identifier, that volval sac. There we go. That's what it grows out of, this egg-like sac from the ground. And it's very important, therefore, when people who look for mushrooms and dig any up, go right underneath from under the soil in order that you can correctly identify a species. So if you see anything looking like this, just pull away at the side of the grass first, where it's uh, the ground it's in and look for that that egg shape there what an incredible thing to find oh i'm so pleased to have found that um i'm saying i'm so pleased because these are pretty uncommon up north where i am and i know i'm in north wales right now but that's still quite far north so relatively uncommon so very exciting for me um and i'll just show you what i mean about digging a bit deeper for that that the egg like sack Whoop. Here we go. So sticking out the ground there. Okay, nice little, uh, nice little mushroom. Okay, but dig away, and that's where you have to have a good look. And you can see the stack. Come on, be in focus for me. There we are. As we start to dig away, that's where you get to see that sack there. Beautiful. And I've not talked about smell. I smelt the first one I found when I arrived. I thought, whoa, I knew I was in some different territory because it doesn't smell like anything else. It smells bad. It smells off. These younger specimens. What's he doing? What? Well, look how he's holding his hands to smell that mushroom. You, you, you can't hold them with your fingers open. Have oh, you... leave him alone. It makes no difference. Of course it does. You cup them like that when you're smelling. It keeps the smell in. How would you, if you were outside, smell that crab stick? Smells crabby. There's nothing about them at all. I don't know how to describe how they smell, they just smell off really. So not a pleasant smell either, which should be another uh, key clue. Alright. That, my friends, was the death cap. And this, my friends, is a happy, happy man. Finding death in mushrooms! And what about the fact I'm finding the death cap next to graves? Fancy that. <laughs> He's not told us the Latin name. Tell him to tell him. Ali, can you tell us the Latin name, please? Amanita phalloids, guys. Amanita Ooh. And there endeth the death cap dissection. Uh, and the end of our little graveyard tour. I only came out for sausages on holiday. We're going for, I'm having a barbecue. I'm going to be a little bit late. But let's hope that the wife appreciates... Look at these death caps here. Let's hope she appreciates that I found death caps. And I'm going to cook us sausages now. Happy days. Toodaloo.